The working man, Robert Pinter. Oh, this is going to be a very off-color story. <laughs> no, I, I got I to just stand up. Um, you know, um, it, it's actually ten years ago this happened. I was arrested. I was entrapped and arrested for prostitution. Can you believe it? Me, a prostitute, at 52 years old. Um, but I was uh, so ashamed. I, I don't know why I was ashamed. I, I wasn't a prostitute, but... Um, I was very ashamed. I didn't want anyone to know about this arrest, you know. And I, I called Brendan. <laughs> he said, "What do you want to do?" I said, "I don't know what I want to do." He said, "Do you want to? Do you want to talk about it? Do you want to go public with it?" And you know, really, that was the last thing I wanted to do. <laughs> to go public with it. Well. The next thing I know is on the phone with Duncan Osborne from uh, Gay City News, and um, uh, Duncan uh, investigated the story and found that the police were targeting uh, men that they perceived to be gay around these uh, video stores in Manhattan and arresting them. They were using the arrests uh, to um, uh, sue these establishments and try and close them down. So they were manufacturing arrests and destroying lives of many men in the process of doing this. Some were immigrants. Yeah, some, some were immigrants. Uh, um, and um, there, there were, uh, I think, two from uh, California. The oh, and, and the Netherlands that, that were in town. And they were staying, what hotel were they staying at? The Astor Hotel. And, and they got arrested for prostitution also. Um, well, I didn't know, uh, you, you know, I. I never stood up for myself like that before. Brendan showed me how to do it, um, to stand up, to speak out with courage, with and to speak out. And, uh, yeah, and the campaign succeeded, Please. you know. Uh, the, the police back, back down. <laughs> the operation they were engaged in, they shut it down soon after I came forward, not, you know, a, a couple of months after I came forward. And um, they knew that they were in the wrong. You know, they would never admit it, but they were in the wrong. But I knew, everyone knew they were in the wrong because they shut, shut down the operation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then got into police fighting and just working with other communities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was incredible. I mean, it, it just really spurred me on to work with, um, uh, on policing issues across the city and, and um, the stop and frisk, the silent stop and frisk march. We all marched together, Danny and um, Jesus and Brendan. We all marched together in uh, the silent march uh, uh, to end stop and frisk. It was uh, an incredible and moving experience. Without you, none of it would have been possible, Brendan. Love you. Yeah. Uh -huh.